Okay, everyone, we are back out to go on our next drive. Um, we're just going in just to go to TJ Maxx and do some grocery shopping. But I just wanted to give some more, uh, just my normal route, so you can see, give a good idea of how it responds on this route and how it responds going forward uh, with future versions. Got a bit of phantom breaking there. I'm guessing it's probably the shadows on the road causing that or the sun. But yeah, so we'll just speed through. I'm actually gonna just cut out the highway on this trip just to m make the video short and sweet and to the point, just so you can see some more uh, left turns, right turns, on ramps, off ramps, that type of thing. Okay, as you can see, the GPS is off, so we're gonna see what this does here. I'm gonna turn on the blinkers so this guy doesn't think I'm super rude. <laughs> okay. I'm pressing the accelerator just because there are cars behind me. I don't wanna hold up traffic. And I'm gonna disable that so they don't think I'm drunk getting on the highway. <laughs> but um, yeah, that that's something we always, uh, every version I'm definitely gonna be looking for uh, to improve. But, yeah, uh, why we'll see you guys off the highway. Okay, we're about to get off the exit here. Again, I'm gonna actually press the camera button this time because I guarantee it's not gonna do it when I want it to. Oh, and there's a truck right here, so def- okay. Um, press that um, so hopefully they can figure out from that that I want to get over earlier I'm gonna figure out if it also does a double lane change right here because we are gonna make a left turn coming up into the mall Did that did that really well actually? This is pretty heavy job. Obviously, it's rush hour. Um, see, this is what it needs to do. It needs to just get over. Oh, I'm gonna. I can't tell. There's a police car sitting right here. Um, so hopefully they can see from that snapshot why I took it. Um, that's an absolute edge case right there. So I'm going to get over here. Okay. Yeah, as you saw, uh, if you could see the police car there, that was an edge case. You're supposed to move over, if, especially if it's in the median there. Uh, I believe that's actually a law, at least in North Carolina, that you're supposed to move over. Um, and give, give right away for the police car. But... Um, the car, yeah, it needed to stay in the right lane there. Uh, so it's going to have to see those things that have level 4 self-driving. Okay, it should get over yeah, a little bit late turn single, but it's acceptable. And again, that probably strictly, it really probably has to do with maps. Um, I just don't like it. Look, <laughs> it thinks we're really far back. So I, I'm not sure how these are mapped out, but it clearly doesn't match the GPS. And it's definitely confusing the car. Okay, that car clearly um, ran the red light, and I'm pressing the accelerator, there's a car behind me. Uh, and it pr uh, responded appropriately. <laughs> so right here, I'm not sure it's going to be able to handle this small parking lot correctly. Uh, I'm not going to let it turn there. 
Okay, so that's it for this section. We're gonna come back and go grocery shopping after this, so it'll basically just be a quick run across the road, and and we'll see how it does. Uh, so I've navigated two oldies. Again, it's navigation on the in route is incorrect, uh, but we're gonna see how it does crossing traffic um, and going for the mall parking lot. So let's see if I can even enable it right here. And also, okay, it's gonna say the speed limit is not 45. It turns the blinker right and has to go left. Well, there's a bug. Um, Not so sure how it's gonna do in the mall parking lot. Nope, okay. You can't find any lines around here. Let's see now. Let's go a little bit slower, Gree, here. Clearly, the lines are basically worn off. Uh, nope, okay. Speed bump there. That is the correct turn. Oh, nope. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna camera button that. Okay. So definitely without any lines in a wide open parking lot, it's not doing great. Um, Definitely doing better than 8.2 would do. I, I just didn't even bother using parking lots with 8.2. This is not the lane it should have got in. It should have been should have been in this lane where that van is. Also, it needs to go further up to the line. There we go. Um, unless it's going to aggressively pull out and make this turn and get in front of this van, it really got in the wrong lane. It is pretty impressive. If you look here, this is actually accurate to the shape of that. And if you see where it's faded out right here, you can't see it on the video, but that's where the walkway is. This walkway right here goes through here. And that's that's why it's faded out because it can see the depth. Um, the, that's a two piece median. There's a piece right here and then there's a piece right here and then the walkway goes through the center of it. Um, and that's the correct shape. That's pretty impressive actually. I don't know if you can tell, but the wheel is ever so slightly turning right, con like constantly. Okay, let's see what this is going to do. Okay, that's good. Um, it needs to get in the right lane. No, okay, I'm going to take... Okay. Okay. That could have been obviously a navigation issue. That should that it definitely 100% failed there. Uh, no question. Uh, it should have got over in the right lane to begin with. Again, this is the equivalent of someone visiting a new town that they have never been in, and they don't know to get in the right lane. The car needs to have that pre-mapped. And so there's zero reason it shouldn't already know it needs to be in the right lane to make it to all these um, easier without having to get around traffic. And so, again, those are the things I'm looking to be improved because that will make dri the driving experience better and smoother for uh, passengers of the future. Okie dokie, guys. We are on our way home. This is going to be a very common test point right here coming out of this entrance go ahead and stop see if I can enable autopilot I really don't like how close it gets to that curb right there alright as I said the soon will like Took a lot of force to actually take it out of the turn. Um, it can, can continue turning more. 
What I need to do is turn the camera on and make sure that um, it's not actually getting that close to the curb. Okay. It's probably gonna, yep, wait, yep, it's gonna, not that. Actually, I'm gonna override it. And tell it, no, don't get in that lane. Let's see, maybe with this car here now. Okay. So that's gonna override it. I'm gonna try and train the car as well in some of these situations. Personally, I want to stay in this lane so I don't have to deal with changing lanes again to get onto the highway. Okay, this decided not to turn. Interesting, okay. No, again, that's the wrong lane. Like, it, it didn't do this until beta 9. You can see it says it right turn lane only right there. And it only has done this in beta 9. No previous beta has actually done that. Okay, it should be slowing down for this light, and it's not yet. Now it's slowing down. Which is not terribly bad, but it could save brakes, and it could save energy if it started slowing down back there. There's no reason it has to jam on so quickly um, right before. It just needs to start slowing down. Preferably, it could slow down to 35, then coast, and then brake. Again, it needs to use the blinker. We're wondering um, if the, the snapshot button will actually do anything about not using the blinker. I don't think they can tell that's what we wanted for. Otherwise, it looks like it did the turn fine. So if they review the footage, they wouldn't be able to tell what was wrong. Okay, we are clear to merge. You gonna turn? Apparently not. I don't know what's going on today with turns. It just doesn't want to work. So I will get back when we're off the exit. Okay, about to get off the exit. One thing I'm looking for here is how it slows down. It seems to be the last four times I've been down this exit, it's done it differently every time. So we're gonna see how it handles it this time. It's gonna let it go to the speed limit and see how it slows down. Huh, and that's really interesting. No, shit. No, okay, okay, see it does that, look. Okay, yeah, go, okay. That's fantastic. It learned. So, I mean, maybe it's a beta 9 thing. I, this is the first time I haven't manually lowered the speed. Um... I think it memorized me lowering the speed manually on the highway before and now it does it automatically from the previous update and actually well if it goes you're good to go okay this, because there's a truck coming in from both sides um again needs to be more aggressive on the lane changes but no that was fantastic that's exactly what i want to see going off the highway it needs to slow down way quicker besides the part where it jumped back up to 70 mile an hour it was still slowing down fortunately uh so it didn't it just kind of ignored the 70 mile an hour thing that, that was fortunate um i'm gonna definitely pay attention to that every single time we get off that exit now that's that was a critical improvement for me it needs to slow down on that exit uh, just like it did so yeah, that was definitely an improvement. Um, we'll s uh, that's it for this video. As always, please comment down below if you have any questions for me or anything else like that. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.